Hello zusammen. This is one of those moments when I just felt the need to make a video while I was walking. Uh, I'm walking with a friend, Stephen. His name is also Stephen. And we were just having a conversation about... No, let me back up. Hello zusammen. This is one of those days when I just feel the need to make a vid video spontaneously, so here it is. A buddy of mine and I were just walking through the courtyard of one of the... Of the what do you call it? The city hall? The, the Rathaus? here in Stuttgart when a camera crew stopped me and asked me if they could ask me some questions on, on film. So yeah, okay, whatever. And it was all about do, how do I feel about women or men who are transitioning using the restroom of the other gender? And I personally don't give a rat's ass and I said so on camera that if, what, what people do behind the door in the restroom, like once they get in the stall and close the door, I don't know what you're doing. I don't want to see what you're doing and I don't care what you're doing. So what does it matter to me? This is just me personally, just me personally. I, you know, other opinions are certainly welcome, but I don't give a rat's ass. So then we had this conversation, uh, Stephen and I, as we were walking away, that where is this idea that everything in America has to do with sexuality? They equate nudity, just being naked. For instance, a woman's bare breasts at the beach. The, how does that automatically become sexual? And in America, all nudity is equated with sexuality. So then I made the comment, well, it's kind of like being gay. When you're gay, you, people just assume, some people assume that you just want to suck every in, in the neighborhood. Like anybody who's in the room, you will drop on your knees, knees at the snap of a fingers. And that's absurd. That's so, oh, I'm not cussing anymore. So that's nonsense. Although sounded better. So. And then we, I took it one step further. I said, you know what? That's no different than people that are on the sex offender registry because somebody was convicted of a sex offense one time in their life. And when I say sex offense, I mean a sexual act that has been criminalized in the US. It may not necessarily be violent or, or amoral or immoral. But how does that mean that every sex offender just, that's all they've got on their minds is they're looking for their next victim. That every time they look at somebody, they're just thinking about raping them. Man, that's just nonsense. Although sounds better. All right, I'm just putting that out. Quick video, just quick video. All right, hope you all are having a great day because we're having a great day over here. Steven just got a job offer. <laughs> Love it. Congratulations, Dan. Cheers.